Welcome to Everything with Dofan. The Nigerian Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, ERCC, has confirmed Interpol's arrest of Nigerian millionaire and socialite, Monfa, also known as Mr. Ismaila, for alleged involvement in calm and money laundering. According to report, Wilson Uwajarin, a spokesperson for the EFCC, confirmed Mr. Ismaila Mustafa, popularly known as Monfa, had been taken into custody. The arrest was reportedly a joint operation between Interpol and EFCC. Nigeria head of Interpol, Umar Garba, also confirmed the arrest of Monfa to Premium Times. Umar Garba said he has learned of the arrest and all inquiries should be treated by the EFCC as primary law enforcement institute in charge of the investigation. You remember Monfa, right? He is the one that recently bought a 2020, that is the year that we have not entered Mass so far, 2020 Rolls Royce, Red Eagle V111. Hey? Even to call the car, self, me and Ophi call the car. Like, what is it? And according to them, the car worth 497000 $719. A year that we have not entered. That is it. And if you don't know Mofa, Mofa is used to, I follow him on Instagram. And let me be honest with you. I have made a video where I said EFCC should arrest some of those people that show money on Instagram. But in that video, if you check it somewhere down here, if you check all my videos, you will see when I said that, I think the title of the video was like the downside of faking it until you make it. I said that Mofa is the only one that has genuine money because I be believe that the rest of them are just ambassadors of those of the designers they wear and what have you not and they showcase and the cars they showcase on the internet but i said in that video <laughs> because i would have believed that his money is genuine but i still have problem i know that if i work hard and i make my money i wouldn't want to flaunt it like that because if i flaunt it like that and i get picked by kidnappers or i get picked by something else what will i do but i still believe that biru the change people have money though i have not seen any of them uh, throwing that kind of lifestyle or whatever immediately i saw this news this news is not just breaking i like to take my time before i make video they first the bloggers rushed and grabbed that those stupid little girls that came out and said the video impregnated them and probably would have created disharmony in the video's house and when his wife is flat just get back to a baby emotions are high she know who her husband is it's not easy for her to trust that her husband did not do it like that you know and all of a sudden bloggers have carried it this news has reached over 1 million or 2 million people only for them to come out and say it's a joke if it is a joke now eh will the joke now go and reach out to um, how many 2 million people that have watched no no blogger will carry that one again it's wrong so most times when i see news i want to wait and see how far before i can publish it but i still know that there are some people that are relying on me solely to be the one that will give them news i don't want to give you news that i will come back and tell you that it's fake for me so i hold on and then i dig deeper so that i can add something new on the table so what i did was to see how people launder money i did a research yesterday on how people launder money and you see the wristwatches if you go to mom fast instagram page which i'm going to connect in the description box for you to just click and confirm by instagram when you check his car wristwatches very very expensive wristwatches i heard that when he was arrested at mutala international airport in nigeria he had on him 20 million naira worth of wristwatches they were five only five wristwatches 20 million naira you know but he has been flaunting it if you go you will see that he flaunts uh, good shoes and uh, good wristwatches expensive not really good but very expensive he wears all kinds of designer from Fendi to Gucci to uh, Dolce and Gabbard in fact all the designers you know in the world as he's wearing his son is wearing he throws money when he is in his office where he does be really change office you see him throw money snap real money like heap of money his son literally sits inside money but i know that everybody can be blessed and they want to do what they want to do with their money so i have always have my reservation if this money is genuine and it's real why is he flaunting it you know people that make money really they don't flaunt it because they know what it takes them to get there you will never see dangote flaunting money like that but dangote is a billionaire this month we are talking about millions now you won't see your ten dollar do that i don't even know who uh davido's father deleke is i know the senator but i have seen davido's father on a few occasions but he is the money back these people that have money that have worked for their money you won't see them flaunting it like that so if you see it like that i just know i had said that if they call 
whole hush pp he won't have a dime in his account but this mother guy i have always trusted in what he was doing i was like okay maybe he's genuine his money is genuine he really has money he likes to travel first class in emirates and reports uh, has it that emirates is his favorite flight first class with his family his little children they'll be sleeping in first class he'll be like oh my god will i ever experience this thing before i die and the truth is that i was talking to my editor my editor said the guy is leaving that is before this news broke he said the guy is leaving heaven on earth if you see his cars the one i've just mentioned is one so they, they loan the money through because when you're traveling with money you will be caught at the airport but if you carry wrist watches who is going to catch you you know so you can buy one wrist watch that is worth 20 million naira and nobody cares about it because it's a wrist watch some people don't even know the worth. like me when i was looking at the wrist watch i was like eh, that wrist watch is 10 million one of it 10 million so some people don't even know the worth. you will just pass and go so it's easy to loan that money and his nickname is citizen of the sky so he's always flying and you know when i'm beginning to take interest in someone i'm hoping to see what they do I pray. So when I saw that citizen of the sky and he's always flying, I was talking one day with my senior staff writer and I said, Lupe, are you sure this guy is not laundering money? Are you sure he's not laundering money for politicians and some other people? Because the truth is that why is he always flying from one country to another and wherever when he's supposed to stay and do his business? He's based in Dubai. Somebody was saying that Dubai is a hub of criminals. As far as you have money to spend there, they don't care. They don't check you like the UK, USA and everything. All these other country, if you're there and you're flaunting money like that, you know, they will put such lights on you. Another thing is that, please, what's the need to flaunt money like that you intimidate people you make people to go into crime you make people to do a lot of things because they too want to flaunt money like that god has blessed you we know instead of flaunting money like that why can't you do charitable work let's see the money in charity that would seems better i know tb joshua has money but i've never seen the money on his body i see it in the charity he does going to give care for people that have been abandoned by family old people that have been abandoned by family to die they will go and carry and bear Married, widows and widows why can't you do that when you do that people will not feel too bad and it will not move people to go and steal but if you throw your money like mofa and hush pp if you flaunt your money like that I'm sure they will come for you. So if you're still flaunting money now, you have not stopped. They are going to come for you. Buhari's administration is going to go against all the people that are flaunting wealth like that. Because we know for a fact that if you work for your money, you won't flaunt it. And I have always stood against people that flaunt their wealth. I spoke against Linda Ikeji. And I think she has reduced it. It's good. There's maturity in everything. There's no need to flaunt it. People that know you know your capability. And even if you're fake and you're doing this, people that know you still know that you're fake. If you have genuine money, Nigerians are poor. We have people that cannot even acquire one square meal in a day. Reach out to these people. They are around. They are not even in villages. They are in city where you people stay in the, uh, the other side. They stay in another side. So look for them. This flaunting of wealth, eh? Mba, we can just pray. The EFCC say he's cooperating, that he's cooperating, that he has given useful information. I saw him snap with Erufai, you know, and uh, I heard that another news source is saying that the reason behind the arrest of Nigerian Biru the change king Monfa has been revealed. Monfa was arrested days ago, but no one know the reason for his arrest by Interpol. Some Twitter users have allegedly reported that the Biru the change king was arrested over a five million dollars internet scam. An Instagram user Tosin Onubenga reported that Monfe escaped from the Interpol arrest in Dubai and he flew to Nigeria secretly. He was tracked through his airline ticket and on Interpol request, he was arrested by EFCC on a 5 million Interpol scam. This is crazy. What I'm not clear about is that if he was running away, is it that he has become addicted to posting? Or why was he posting that he was at Murtala International Airport? Because his last post showed him in a business class, this time not first class, showing that he was at Murtala International Airport. So if he had actually escaped from Dubai, knowing that Interpol is pushing him and he knows that interpol have their offices all over the world so why would he even disclose where he was going to or where he was coming to but we don't know the truth yet so let's just cross our fingers and wait and as the news unveiled ensure that i will continue to update you somewhere in my head i just want it to be like it's a lie because oh just like what is happening in the church it will make you want to believe that real money is not possible but real money is possible you know genuine money that will give you peace is very very possible
people. Just like people are making it to, for us to believe that there's no more miracles in the church. And there's no miracle one we call the name of Jesus Christ and one. I think that's what is happening. People are beginning, the devil is messing up with our head, trying to make us believe that real money is not possible so that all of us cannot dig our hands in crime. But God forbid, what shall separate us from the love of God? Should it be tribulation, poverty, or whatever? Nothing. Let's keep our faith alive. I think the second return of Jesus Christ is closer than before. Because um, since I was born, 30 years plus, now I have never seen this kind of thing. Or could it be that he's so used, he's so addictive to posting that he forgot that Interpol were looking for him, for him to post that? You know, but who knows? We just have to keep our fingers crossed. If you're flaunting money, eh, advise yourself. Those frosters they caught in America, Nigerian frosters, over 100 that they caught. If you see the way they were batting with champagne and batting with, ah, oh my God, you will know that they didn't suffer for the money. I know that entertainers bat with champagne, but entertainers will not buy it though the brands will come and give it to them you could hear the video when he was popping champagne when shoma get back to his child he was pumping hennessy he said it he said thank you hennessy so <laughs> entertainers do it but it's not their money because he's giving to them free they don't know how far but you your real money you will not buy champagne a bottle that is 20 something thousand naira and pour it on your body when you finish you still look for ordinary water that god has given you for free to wash your body so that you don't stink it's crazy and you know why they will continue to fail and then he stayed that longer because he was giving to the poor so you're doing your own crime but you're not giving it to the poor you're just should oh my god i really don't understand i just hope i just want to have a little ray of light that in the end this monfa guy will, they will come out and say there is nothing against him but if indeed there is something against him oh my god i will just deactivate i will stop following anybody that flaunts wealth because i will know that in one way or the other they belong to something that i do not understand having said that this is where i go i will see you again when i see you i love you after the rain, joy comes in the morning.